Dion cool threads. You know like the racing ones. Realize these are shit old monitors and you can't do that. Come up with great idea of Bitcoin mining with these boxes. Set it up for the first half of the day. After lunch I'm mining. Terribly but the mining. People start complaining about server lag. Blame it on the Olympics. Suggest that the whole office must be streaming it. Ban the Olympics on web filter. Office is divided can see divide in my emails. People who are pissed about not being able to watch the Olympics and Kina who think it's all work and no play at work. I've officially gained power though people respect me for making this mandate. He's a real company guy. Day 22. It's birthday day. Office celebrates all the month's birthdays. Take a set up Nintendo 64 in the boardroom. Challenge people in the office to GoldenEye. Keep saying hey I'm just taking a 5 minutes break for some cake. Want a quick game? Own the shit out of all of them. One one ever noticed. Day 23. Cougar calls in from the road. She's having trouble accessing a key app for a client on her iPad. She tells me its name. Have no idea what it is. But make sure to sound astute. Ask her if she is using Wi-Fi 3 grams. How do I check? Never mind let me check from my main core system. Google the app but nothing comes up. Ask one of the other salespeople. Oh it's just an infographic on our main site. Tell the hot cougar to come into the office because it's going to require me to hard code the changes in. She drives two hours to come to the office so I can open up Safari and bookmark it to her iPad homepage. Day 26. People here from the 45 year old events planner I do house calls. Bunch of idiots bringing in their cum computers, mobile devices, anything technical for me to fix. Tell people I can only do it after hours and I charge $20 for small stuff and $50 for larger. Most of it is simple fixes. Windows updates or Adobe Reader installs fix it. But then I get it. The laptop from hell. This fat Indian guy hands me his laptop in a plastic bag. Not a laptop bag, a plastic one. What's wrong with it you tell me genius. Load it up and it's asking for some system restore or something. Just an ECT and OK. Fixes it but it says I need to load CHK disk figure that has something to do with the CD drive. Open it up. There's a thick fucking layer of breadcrumbs in the tray. Title the machine so it sides. Motherfucking breadcrumbs just pouring out the laptop. Restart the machine. It loads perfectly. Turns out the guy had been using it as a tray for his morning bake fucking toaster laptop. Hi random board it's the IT guy from yesterday. Day 25. Even though I'm shit at IT. One guy thinks because I'm IT I'm super touchy. He asks me what my favorite rosa is. Google. Ultron. Is it like Chrome? Shit that's what I meant. Yeah but better it's what NASA uses. Cool could you download that for me? Gulp. Yeah no worries. Lee actually start shaking the mouse back and forth so fast you can't see the cursor. Then control alt delete into task manager. There you go all done. It looks like Google Chrome but it's really Ultron. No one else can tell. To this day he still thinks AGS running Google Ultron. Day 26. Some woman calls me over. It will just take a second it's super simple. Shen asks me to hook her up to a new printer. She hops out of her chair and lets me sit down. Forget how to add network printers. Her and her friend are talking right over my shoulder staring at the screen. Is this going to take long? I fake deep thought as I stare at the screen with one hand on my template. Anon I have a deadline is this going to? What the fuck? Both of the women are startled. There's a virus on this machine. And just storm off like I'm pissed. Day 27. Lean about a remote access tool that the whole office uses. Decide to haunt the old nice old lady from before. I randomly move the mouse for a few hours. She struggles to do basic tasks. She comes and asks me for a new mouse. Obige her. Hook it up and leave. Look back at remote tool. Mouse is moving again. She opens up where I begin to type. Hi. Hello who is this? It's death. Day 28. A guy asks me to burn a copy of a DVD for a presentation. Holy fuck I know how to do that. Burn it for him. March back down to his office proudly holding the DVD high in the air. Woman tries to stop me. Hey can you? Not now I've got IT business to attend to. Hand the guy his burnt DVD. This might be one of the first things I've done right here. Tear in my eye. So proud of how far I have come. I'm true IT. Five minutes later I get a call. Hey yeah there's nothing on the DVD. Day 29. Give new hire her new laptop. Nothing is fucking set up right. Forgot to hook up our Outlook to exchange. No worries she did it herself. Cool. She asks me if I can type in the admin credentials so she can download some social media tool. Sure. Fuck up the login credentials like three times and get locked out. Have to unlock it from my machine. Can't figure it out but go back because I left my Game Boy in her office. She starts making small talk. So where did you go to school to become AIT person? SAGS fucking onto me. Try logging in once more to admin account. Locked out still. Yeah you know what. I think this hoot sweet extension is a virus I don't want shit on my network. Day 30. Here's where shit starts really hitting the fan. As you know I had set up a Bitcoin mining rig in the server room. It was just eating up all the bandwidth. The whole network was barely operational. And now because of my network was barely operational. And now because of my ineptitude and blaming things on viruses people start a rumor that the whole network was being attacked by a rogue hacker group. After lunch I get pulled into a meeting by all the executives. The jig is up. As you know we have been experiencing a multitude of issues without network. I'm fucked. For the lag and the viruses. So fuck. We want you to head up the investigation and find out who has been doing this and why. Rolling on the floor laughing. I am a fucking dirty cop on the force who is tasked with finding the dirty cop. I am a fucking law. 
Day 31. Tell people I am running server calibrations. It's like dusting for fingerprints. One one's the wiser. Show this one middle-aged guy with a beard how to use a web app. Go to favorite it for him and put it on his toolbar. Notice all of his favorites. Big titty housewife. Pajama butler. Mexican girl on bus. Mouse over them as I mouth read them. He starts freaking out. Begs me not to tell. Why shouldn't I? I'll buy you lunch. Got ten chicken nuggies. <laughs> Day 32. For some reason the entire office is having to fill a caption every time they Google anything. Have no idea why this happening. Google Ultron guy asks me if this has to do with the virus and if he should be backing up his data. First always back up your data. He nods to my tech savvy. Second it's a security measure I've put in place there are robots afoot. He nods again like my word is law. Day 33. Ultron guy blabs and tells everyone about Google Ultron. Now everyone in the fucking office has a SharePoint ticket asking for it to be installed. A few of the more competent people are asking me what the fuck Google Ultron is. I just give them finger guns until they walk away. Have to spend entire day going from desktop to desktop pretending to download Google Ultron. Literally spend three to four hours pretending to download software that NASA uses. One girl asks me if this is even legal. Are you a cop? She reports me to HR for criminal-like behavior. Have already explained to HR what Google Ultron is. HR thinks NASA uses it. HR tells the NARC to stop interfering with important technological matters because the NARC doesn't know anything about IT like me. Doesn't know anything about IT like me. Day 34. Been playing Portal 2 all day in my office. Haven't heard so much as a complaint. Haven't had to update Adobe Reader or Adobe Flash all fucking day. Something's not right. No one's said shit about it. Poke my head out of the office. Everyone's heads down just typing away. Starting to get worried. Ask a guy how his computer is working. Great ever since you downloaded Google Ultron my whole computer has been flying. What the fuck? Do a quick Google search on Google Chrome. Supposedly it automatically downloads the most up to date version of Adobe. Oh my fucking god. If I don't have fucking Adobe Reader I'm fucking out of the job. Send out mass email. Attention to not Open Google Ultron it has been hacked. Spend rest of day uninstalling and making Internet Explorer the default browser. Day 35. People are becoming restless with the hacker virus stuff. They wonder why I haven't solved the case yet. Some even believe it's not a hacktivist group like I've been hinting. We're not just dealing with amateurs here, we're dealing with the best. And that's why I need to update your antivirus scanner. Just to strike the fear into people I covertly turn on the computer of a person who's sick and stationed right in the middle of one of the larger areas. Just turn off her monitor, put speakers full, then go back to office and remote in play whams jitterbug at three second intervals throughout the day. Eventually people start coming to my office to report this. I nod. It's worse than I know. What? What is it? It's the Jitter Big Gang. One of the world's best hacking group. I've never heard of them. That's why they're the best. Day 36. Check messages. Local police call. Fuck. Need to speak with me since I'm the IT about recent hacks on our organization. Delete messages. Cougar comes into Mount Offit. Asks if I can adjust her desktop so the wallpaper changes every couple of minutes. Sure. Head over there with her. She tells me she's getting a divorce. Oh. Says she's actually starting to date again and it's pretty awkward. Fuck it. Wanna maybe grab a beer sometime after work? She laughs. What I mean why not? You're joking right? You're YT. My eyes well up as I stare at Adobe prompts me the reader has a new update. Just gonna download this. Day 37. Feeling like shit today. Cougar told her sales friends that I tried asking her out. People are laughing behind my back. Can hear the whispers. EW ha 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 IT. EW. Want to just open up a computer and jump through the moving CPU fan? Mean sales guy who usually calls. Yeah that one stops by office. My laptop's not working. I trudge over to his desk with him. Hit the power button for a reset. Don't say anything and just walk away. If that's all you ever do why do we need you? Turn around. What? If you only ever just restart my computer why are we paying you? I can restart my own damn computer. Grin. Have you ever repaired a server here? Do you know how hard it is to get it operational? Remember how we were down for a day and a half? He shakes his head. That's what I thought. Of course I just restarted it lol. Day 38. Still feel like shit after the cougar shut me down. Decide to block one major site on the web filter every hour. Feel like the joker doing it. First YouTube, then eBay, then Reddit. Hear the moans from people as they read my web filter. No, this is a place of work, not a fun house. One woman storms into office. This is not funny, this is serious. Why so serious? I ask her. I need you to unblock eBay. Lol, seriously. I have an auction ending in five minutes. Put it back on the safe list. But it was too late. She missed out on her cell phone case. Ha 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 ha. Day 39. An investigator comes to the office. The executives were worried that we had too much to lose and wanted to bring in a professional. I'm fucked. Show him around the office. He keeps asking to see the server room. And this is Coral. She's a riot. Ain't too Carol. Doing everything I can to stall. We go back into the server room. He compliments me how neat the cables are. Think about picking up a monitor and bashing his skull in and then running away to Mexico. Can't do it. I'm not a monster. I'm IT. The guy goes on to the server. Asks me for the login info. Figure the jig is up. Give it to him. He logs in. Opens Internet Explorer. Looks over his shoulder at me. You don't need to be here. It's fine. I I need to be there when it happened. He literally starts shaking his mouse really quickly around Internet Explorer on random parts of the screen. I know because a pop-up for Home Depot came up. He starts muttering to himself. Him, him, him. Watch him type in Adobe Reader in Google. AGS downloading it. Swings he courser around some more. And then finally goes fucking hackers right. We are brothers he and I. IT brothers. 
Day 40. Wake up and realize how lucky I truly am not to be fired or worse. See Cougar Girl walking into the office from parking lot. Asks me how things are going. I think we finally put an end to Jitterbug Gang. No. I mean not work stuff. Look at her strangely then smile. Oh you know how it is. She flicks her hair and then laughs. What the fuck? Ooh. I'm having problems opening a file. Can you open it for me hun? Sigh. Yeah sure. We walk into her office she being all flirty clock on the SharePoint link of a PDF file. Won't open. Download Adobe Reader. While it's loading I ask her what SAGS planning on the weekend. I'm going to the mountains with this guy for our first getaway. Stop Adobe Reader at 80%. Walk right out. I am IT. Day 41. This hot yoga girl from events comes into my office. Her keyboard keeps typing in French. Too busy playing Flappy Bird to care. So you going to help me? If things slow down I've been swamped today. I'm going to fucking kill you. She waggles her glorious yoga butt away. Cute girl and don't even care anymore just one day to fucking end. I hate this job. All I do is get yelled at to download Adobe Reader. I can't even find joy in games anymore. Dad walks by. Looking blue. Dad takes me out for lunch. Pats me on the shoulder. I'm proud of you son. To DTE the company is in fucking shambles. And I still am primarily an Adobe Reader downloader. But I wouldn't change any of it for his very next words. I love you son. Thanks guys. Thanks dad for the job. Don't forget to download your Adobe Readers guys.